I'm back with how to build, and I'm going to actually try to make these a bit quicker because I have noticed that these are getting really long sometimes, and so I kind of overcomplicate things a bit. So I'm going to try to make this video a bit shorter just because they are so long. But anyway, let's get into it. So today I'm building Stinger, and yes, I do know the bot builder built um, Sewer Snake, but I had this is a request, so I'm still doing it, and also. This is a different version of the weapon, actually, because this is not the plow. These are the forks from Season 1. This is the Season 1 Stinger, by the way. So let's get to it. So the first thing you're actually going to do is you're just going to copy these instructions onto possibly card or cardboard. Um, you can choose. I like using card sometimes or cardboard. If I'm doing a weaponed bot with a spinner, it's most likely cardboard just because it's much stronger. But because Stinger is um, not a weaponed bot with a we by weaponed, I mean a uh, spinner bot, it, it, um, card looks a lot nicer in my opinion. So I'm just going to use some card in this video. So you might need card, but you're also probably going to need some sellotape, duct tape, scissors, roller, possibly something to cut holes if you're. Maybe you shouldn't be using this. Be careful if you're using like an exacto knife or something. Um, you're probably going to need a yellow marker pen, black marker pen, fine black marker pen, silver marker pen, and a fine red marker pen, mainly for the actual um logo. Anyway, let's get into this. So you're going to want to copy your instructions onto a piece of card or cardboard, and then you're just going to color it in and. Um, if I mean, you might sellotape it and duct tape it if you want. Sellotaping it makes it look a lot better, actually, in my opinion. But other than that, it's kind of up to your choice how you want to put it onto the sheet of paper and then cut it out. So to start, you will take some tape. You are going to take some tape. You're going to attach it here. Also, when I say like so, I mean practically like so. And also when I fold over a piece of tape. If a piece of tape is not long enough, just um, use a second piece of tape. Anyway, so you're just going to take your tape and attach it about there, possibly. Now you're just going to take, uh, I wonder, did I actually forget the duct tape part of this? Anyway, so you, then you're going to take, I believe it is this panel, yes, I hope it is, um, and you're just going to attach it about there now because, now this is actually a good example, this piece of tape actually is not probably long enough, so I'm just going to take a second piece of tape and attach it around there just to reinforce it so it might be vice versa anyway then you're practically going to the, do the exact same thing by just connecting it to here these two panels these two panels together so now you're just going to take some tape and you're going to attach it around i would say here and oh no i have a bit of crumple over there but anyway you're just going to attach it about there now you are going to just take one of these panels, and you want to have your um, larger side um, to be on the top, so I believe it will be this panel that will go here. Anyway, you're just going to line it up pretty well, and you're going to attach it on. Okay, so it's a bit of a, sorry, but you just have it here, just like so. Now take some more tape, and you're just going to reinforce the inside, and then you're practically going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So now you're just going to take some tape, attach it onto about here, attach it around here, then fold down your tape and there you go. Now you're going to kind of repeat this process obviously with different sizes of pieces of tape over here and here, but you're going to want to bend this piece down because otherwise these pieces are most likely not going to fit too well. And those pieces should be these ones. So, yep. Okay. So take some tape, and you're just going to touch it near one of these cornerish areas. Oh, so you want to have, so you're going to want to have this properly folded down well enough, and you're just going to take it, insert it around here, and then fold it over onto one of these pieces, and then you're going to repeat this over here, at this corner, and at this corner. Take some tape. You're going to touch it around. I would say here. You're going to fold it over. Now over here, you're just going to take your tape and attach it over here. Fold it down around there. And then over here, sorry about background noise, if you can hear, you're just going to fold it down and around onto the top. And you're practically going to repeat this over here, 
and do the exact same thing over here. And you want to do this with a longer strip of tape over on these sides. Oh, and also do it over here in the like front panel. So the next step is to just take some tape, attach it, and maybe you can see I have some tape right here. So you're just going to take because you're ups you're maybe doing this upside down. Okay, so. I would recommend doing this upside down and do this. Okay. Um, take your large panel and you're just... Or, sorry about it, actually. Take your large panel, attach it about there. Now take your smaller panel and you're just going to attach it at the end around, I would say, there. And you're just going to fold it kind of like so and then fold over your tape. So now, there you go. And you're practically going to do the exact same Thing and feel free to maybe cut some stuff off if it's not good if it maybe like bends out like this kind of so yeah so you're going to repeat this four times but you're just going to take some tape attach it to one of these like angled panels and you're just going to fold it over onto the main actual panels on the sides and you're just going to do this four times right here here and here hopefully that made a bit of sense possibly now take some tape you're going to take Hopefully your better looking back panel compared to mine and you're just going to take it and attach it around I would say here actually and you're just going to fold over your tape about there And now you have an extra panel near the back just to give it a better um, panel and because this this is supposed to go up I think that's not as tall as I would have wanted it, but it's okay now take some more tape so before we get on to making the weapon let's add the wheels so you're just going to take your wheels and attach them on and i completely forgot exactly where singer's wheels go so this might be inaccurate but there is one now you could do sticky backs but i just but it's just does not look as good in my opinion so yeah there is two this is probably much, very much inaccurate and you're just going to repeat this on the opposite side, hopefully not inaccurate like mine is, most likely. Also, I think Stinger might have, ha may have had six wheels, which, yeah, I probably should have paid a bit more attention to the wheels, but we're just going to ignore that, so I probably will edit this after I film this part and at the beginning. Perhaps Stinger may have an astounding six wheels, or the wheels may just be placed somewhere else. If it does have six wheels, I will edit the instructions for that. Anyway, so now, uh, what you are going to do is take some more tape. But before then, you're going to take your uh, hole cutting um, thing, and I should probably remove this. And you're just going to take this, and you're going to make a hole just below it. Toothpick-sized hole, most likely, and you're probably going to want to run this up also if please be careful if you're going to use like an exacto knife or some thing like a knife please be careful otherwise if you're not so sure you're going to be careful enough please use a pen okay just please do anyway um so yeah just make sure it can fit through okay nice okay so now you're going to take some tape you're going to do this twice but you're just going to take some tape attach it around there and you're just going to kind of fold this around i should probably remove probably remove the tape first you're just going to kind of fold this into somewhat of a squarish shape uh this may look a bit more cylindrical so you're just going to want to fold it into something like this, and then you're going to do this twice, like I already said. And you're going to want to slope these panels somewhat like this, and then you're going to create toothpick-sized holes on these. You should pro most likely definitely line these up, and by these I mean the holes. Okay, so now tape. Uh, I should probably cut this into multiple pieces possibly, but you're just going to take it, attach it around, I would say, there. Make sure it's not inside, it's not taking up some of the space of the hole, otherwise you're going to redo your hole. Anyway, just attach it like about like so. Now reinforce it possibly over, and now you're just going to fold it over, and then at necessary spots you might want to tape it, so you're just going to want to fold it so it fits around it, and then at necessary spots tape it. Just so you know, you might need to cut a bit off from the back. 
But anyway, take some tape. Take some tape, and you're just going to attach it near the bottom about there. And then you're just going to fold up your tape, maybe. You're going to attach it around, I would say, there. Fold down your tape, you're practically going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. So, um, so you're going to have to have connected these pieces to, um, near their middle. You want to have connected this, um, bar, which should be silver or whatever. And now you're going to take these pieces, which I hopefully I already said need to be folded. But anyway, you're just going to take some tape and you're going to fold it onto it. But there, and then you're practically going to do the exact same thing down here just to reinforce it. And then you're practically going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. And before we continue, you're just going to take some tape and you're going to attach it onto this panel about there. And then you're just going to take it and you're going to fold it all the way down about there. Now take some more tape. Now you might need to combine more than, you might need to use more than one toothpick. But anyway, you're just going to insert it through the stinger's head, I guess you could call it. And... Now you're going to take your plow attachment or whatever, and you're just going to attach it on. And, uh, yeah. So, there you go. I do have a bit of problems with this. These are very much flimsy, and this seems far too large. But it's pretty good. Not too bad. Sorry about background noise, but yeah. Anyway, have a good day. So, it turns out the Stinger model is actually to wield a guess it's going to be season two sorry, back on sorry for some uh, interruptions but anyway okay so i'm just breaking this up just because i want to say oh i do have so i was not sure which model of stinger this was i was going for season one this is actually season two because they did have this as an option to use in season two so i'm just going to say this is season this is a season two stinger because in that season they only have two wheels on each side the three so yeah so we have stinger here so yeah anyway let's get back into the main video that a lot that has competed in seasons one two and that's it but have you ever wanted to have a model of stinger well now you can using this video as a how to build so let's get to it 